All right, yo, what's going on? Welcome to another New Creature Speaks video. Thank you for tuning in. If you're interested in following me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, please view the information in the description below. It's all there for you, okay? And if you're interested in following other ventures I have going on in Christ, next ever sports, next ever sounds, and more, yeah, please view that video, keeping up with New Creature Info updated 12-30-2014, okay? It's under the New Creature Speaks video channel. All right, make sure you view that information because Christ is getting ready to do something big in this earth. You've been requested for it, ladies and gentlemen, and now he's going to bring it to the past. He's going to make it happen for you, okay? All right, and we're going to have some fun, all right? That's what's up, y'all. All right, well, this particular video I titled Life After Death, The Blind Experience. Life After Death, The Blind Experience, Okay. Now, let me explain that life after death thing, okay? Because I know a lot of, especially, you know, Christians, you know, oh, you're speaking death. No, I'm not. It simply means life after becoming a Christian, okay? Life after becoming a Christian, all right? The old me has died and the new me rises. Life after death. Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, Verse 20, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but it's Christ that lives on the inside of me. All right? Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. All right, y'all. So life after death. Here we go. And this is my first experience, my first challenge after becoming a Christian in June of 1998. Okay? Awesome. All right. Well. I was offered an opportunity to go to this program. It's a blind program in Baltimore. And this particular blind program, right, um, train you as if you're losing your sight. Now, I wasn't losing my sight, y'all. Okay, I wasn't losing my sight. All right. But they felt that uh, it'd be nice if I can learn Braille. Okay. And, uh, you know, that sort of thing. That's basically what I was there for, just to learn Braille. And uh, what happened was, you know, at this particular program, they, tr they train you to travel, okay? They train you to cook, and they train you to use computers and obviously Braille, okay? Blindfolded, okay? I was blindfolded, all right? There's blind people there, but I was blindfolded. And check this out. I had to use a cane. Isn't that something? I had to use a cane, and they trained me to use that thing, and... Uh, that's what it is, folks. And I have to say, you know, the travel department, you know, they would train me. They would tell they they would go out there with me first, you know, to use the buses, and, you know, take the subway in Baltimore, you know, use these, you know, go different streets and stuff like that. Downtown now, okay, when it's busy cars, okay, blindfolded. I took the light rail. You know, that was an experience, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You know, I remember this one particular time where uh, I went by myself because, you know, I was in, well into the program. I think it was around, I don't know, like six or seven months in. Uh, it's a nine-month nine program. Anyway, I went to this particular area in Baltimore. And uh, I had my cane, and I was blindfolded. Next thing you know, I heard a light rail, you know, coming. I'm like, oh, my goodness. What do I do? So, I mean, they kept, and I refused to take off the blindfold, but I ended up taking it off anyway because I was like, oh, my God, I just, I almost got ran over, y'all. I almost got ran over. And I was on a, on a, on a highway. I was like, oh, my goodness. I, you know, I was like, oh, man, I can't. So, you know, I ran across the track. It, <laughs> it was funny, man. You, you should have seen it. It was funny. It was hilarious, man. It was, it was, very, it was hilarious. So uh, yeah, man, that was my that was my experience there, man. Um, in the cooking cooking class, um, you know, they small meal and large meal. Small meal, you, you you cook a meal for the the people that's there. I think it's about six to ten people, plus the students that are there. So you got to cook for them, you know. Blindfolded, I had to use a stove blindfolded, y'all. Oh my goodness, that was oh man, that was it was rough. It was rough, y'all. I cooked some spaghetti, and man, uh, the noodles wasn't finished. I mean, the bread was hard, crunchy. <laughs> no, it wasn't bread. 
Yes, it, no, 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 no. It was something else. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was it was a, a cake that I was. It was a cake. That's what it was, and I overcooked it. And yeah, it was hilarious, y'all. It was hilarious. The small meal didn't turn out right, and I heard people crunching on noodles that, you know what I'm saying? I knew the noodles wasn't finished, and oh my goodness, I had to have it done by 12, and I had to do the menu in Braille. I mean, this is everything that I had to do in this in this particular program. It was rough, y'all. Oh my God. But I got through it, y'all. The large meal, I had to cook for 20 people. 20. So I had to invite my family you know, that type of thing, and every had to cook for everybody, and they invited their friends and stuff like that. I cooked for 20 people, y'all. Man, was that rough. Oh, my goodness. I'm serious, man. That was... Whew. And the lady asked me, the, the, the lady who sponsored the program, she's like, well, do you feel good about your your big meal? And I had, and I, I paused for a long time. I was like, uh, I know where she's going. I know where she's going. I know where she's going. She's going to tell me to do it again. And so, do you want to, do you feel that you need to uh, cook uh, another big meal? Whew, man, I didn't, I didn't want to do it, but I said, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to have to do another big, another big meal. And so, I don't remember what I cooked, though, but it turned out better than the one before, you know? So, it was awesome, y'all. I mean, it was an awesome experience. And at the end of the program, check this out. At the end of the program, they send you away, like, like the travel department. You know, I can I can go by plane or train to wherever out of anywhere out of Baltimore. So I chose. They gave you some money. They gave me one hundred forty five hundred fifty dollars, and they told me, you know, do whatever you want to do, go wherever you want to go, blindfolded. So I had to take. So I I said, you know what? I've never been to New York. You know what? I'm going to New York. So I got on the train, Amtrak train, went to New York City, and. uh you know, that was experience. You know what I'm saying? I went all the way to the mall. You know, they, they he wanted me to, you know, take a take a a, a, a business card from some some a, a, a store there and uh, you know, come back down south or whatever. So I was only there for about six hours or so, you know, that type of thing. And uh it was it was it was it was it was amazing, y'all. It was it was truly amazing. And uh, you know, out there in New York City, you know. With my cane, you know, people looking at me like I'm crazy, you know, that type of thing. So that was my New York, my first ever New York experience going there. But uh, yeah, and the, the cooking department, I had to cook a meal for I, I, th I told y'all that already. 20, 20 people. That was my. It was a big meal I had to do. Braille, I had to I, I had to make a like a a mini a miniature cookbook type thing, you know, cooking several recipes. You know, make a book out of it. In Braille, that was rough. You know what I mean? And then the computer, I think that... I, I don't remember what I did with computers. But yeah, man. I would believe... And check this out, y'all. I believe that program... Christ had me to go through that program. No, I'm not going to say I believe. I know Christ had me to go through that program to boost my confidence in trusting Him. You get what I'm saying? To boost my confidence in trusting him. I can't see nothing. But I know that you're there, God. I know that you're there. I know that you're there. If I trust you, I trust you. If I know that you're there, I know I can trust you. That boosted my faith, confidence in Christ once I left that program. Oh, boy. You have no idea, y'all. Have no idea. It boosted my confidence and faith in Christ, man, after that program. And so that was my life after death, y'all. My first experience, the blind experience, you know what I'm saying? If you like what you've heard on this video, please subscribe to my video channel, New Creature Speaks, okay? I appreciate it. That's what's up. And if you uh, um interested, uh, yeah, follow that thing, you know what I'm saying? Thank you uh, for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right, I'm New Creature. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next video, okay? This is Life After Death, the blind experience, okay? All right, my blind experience learning how to trust Christ on my own, all right? That's what's up. All right, y'all. Oh, I didn't even mention, they gave you an apartment, too. You know what I'm saying? They gave you an apartment. Isn't that something? Awesome, right? Got to stay in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? And gave you, they gave you money for uh, groceries. Oh, man, that was awesome, man. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I prefer that for anybody, any of y'all out there that's losing your sight. 
Go to that program, okay? It's Bism Blind Industries, Industry Services of Maryland. It's in Baltimore, okay? That's what's up. All right, y'all. I'm New Creature. I'll see y'all next video. See you when I see you. Later.